Hey there YouTube, today I'm doing a video review on this Blue Mole uh, Hole Saw Dust Bowl. It's model number DB1. Uh, I'm using it with the cheapest uh, six inch hole saw I could find for my six inch can lights. Put the part number for the hole saw uh, in the description and on the screen. I'm just using a standard DeWalt drill, doesn't require anything special. Um, just have your drill here and then the hole there. You don't really have to worry about it being centered because it rotates within the bowl and the bowl stays stationary. Um, it just pops onto the drill really easily. There you go, you're good to go. So just like that. Uh, so this is pretty flexible. I've cut 12 recessed lights with this and it's not really wearing at all. But I've been folding this back a lot to kind of see how I'm going to start my bit. It's got some stress marks here from when I've been flexing it and um, twisting it. It's still very, very thick and uh, I don't see it breaking anytime soon. This thing's a lifesaver because the only dust that you see when you're drilling these holes in the ceiling, I'm going through uh, 5 8 drywall on the ceiling, and um, the only dust you get is when you actually separate this from the face of the drywall and there's like a little puff of dust that comes out. But it keeps you from getting all the drywall dust in your face. I drilled three lights without one of these with just a hole saw and I kind of, you know, just dealt with it and it was a miserable experience getting drywall in the face while doing it. Uh, so I'm really glad I spent whatever it was, the 10, 15 bucks on this thing. So, and uh, now I'm going to show you some actual footage of me using it. Because it is soft, you can kind of do this, but it's still kind of sketchy. Okay, there we go, we're started. Look at that, it cups to it perfectly, and then you just drill. Going in reverse helps with that. <laughs> oh yeah, good thing I did not drill deeper. <laughs> Beam fire. <sighs> Alright, there's the center. Alright, centered, and then reverse. <laughs> Starting it is tricky because your bowl's kind of full of dust now, so you don't want to kick it all over yourself. There we go. Ooh. Wow. Oh. There we go. Once again, I right on a beam, so I'm really glad I bought those wafer lights. recommend templating with scrap drywall so you can really see what it's going to look like when the lights are installed. Use the brown side. Bit there. Centered and reverse. Barely any dust gets out. See, going in reverse, you don't cut your insulation either. Another beam. 
Anyway, that's my review. Thanks for watching.